This is Dr. John Tolson, and you're listening to the Disciple Making Podcast. We are talking about critical questions. And for several weeks, we've been talking about the critical question of who is Jesus? So I hope you'll go back and listen to those. And we're going to move on today to a new critical question. Critical question number two. Why the crime on the cross? Why the crime on the cross? Listen, this is how the record reads. A few years ago in Lincoln, Nebraska, lived a young man named Charles Starkweather. He was not outstanding. In fact, the opposite was closer to the truth. He had always done poorly in school and finally became a dropout. Once out of school, he had difficulty in finding and keeping a job. He worked for some time collecting garbage, and except for a striking but undeveloped talent for painting, apparently there was only one thing at which he had ever really excelled. He was an excellent marksman with a rifle. One day, Charlie went out to his girlfriend's house and got into an argument with her parents. This was not the first time they had argued. And that day, Charlie decided to end it once and for all. He went out to his car, got his rifle, killed his girlfriend's mother, stepfather, and three-year-old stepsister. In the days that followed, Charles Starkweather struck terror all across Nebraska as he sought to elude the police. By the time he was captured some days later in Wyoming, he had killed 11 people. Two were a high school couple who had been kind enough to pick up him and his girlfriend when his car ran out of gas. Charlie killed them both, threw their bodies in a cave, and stole their car. After being finally captured in Wyoming, he was brought to trial, convicted of first-degree murder, and sentenced to die in the electric chair. The greatest crime ever occurring on this planet was the execution of Jesus Christ on the cross. Why? The main reason why it was the greatest crime was because of the quality of the person that was executed. Charlie Starkweather was not a quality person. He had value as a human being, but he had committed murder. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, was the unique son of God, God in a body. He said, as we've always said before, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. The Father and I are one. In fact, listen to what a judge said about Jesus when he sentenced him. I find nothing criminal about him. John 18, 38. I find nothing criminal about Jesus. So why was Jesus so important? In 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, we read the following. Christ died for our sins. Whether you or I or others are aware of it or not, we have a sin problem. We've got a disease down deep inside, which is basically offensive to a holy God and contrary to his character. And it's the cause of all the crazy, selfish, hurtful, evil, wicked things that we do. So why was the death of Jesus important? Listen, when he died on that cross, he was dying for your crimes, your sin. He was dying for my crimes, my sin. He was dying for the crimes of all those who had lived or who would live in the future. He was dying for their sin. You see, we all somehow, some way, have been involved in what happened on that cross because he nailed our sin on that cross. The reason he went to the cross was because of our sin, because of our crimes. So what are the conclusions then? Listen closely. Number one, God is real. Number two, Jesus is God's son. God in a body, nothing less than that. Number three, Jesus was perfect, and yet he was crucified anyway. Number four, Jesus died 
for you and for me to eradicate our sin problem. So if all this is true, and it is, how wise would it be to walk away from him and dismiss it all? You think about that. Thanks for listening to the Disciple Making Podcast. Check out our website at thetulsagroup.com and sign up for my weekly encouraging videos called Red Glasses Talks to come to your email every Monday morning. You can also find me at Dr. John Tolson on social media. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me a review and share with a friend.